Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Today, I am going to tell you what is going on, not just talk about the energies. And by the way, yes, I do read bodies. I don't read minds. I don't read cards. I read people's bodies. And that being said, there's a lot that is going to be happening with people's bodies, not just the feminine bodies, but the masculine bodies too. And inside also, meaning that whoever you're connected to on the inside, you're going to be feeling some of their stuff also. So just at the point when people are actually expecting that there's going to be um, a closure and some uh, dwindling of the separation, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel how not separate you two are. And that may be appear differently than what your mind has uh, sometimes told you is that, well, I can feel them, they're close. Yes, you're coming close and you're putting closure to various things. What are you putting closure to? Well, right now, you're, put, you're actually removing your heart connection. For a lot of people in the first, second, and third waves, and please know that there's some waves for next year. And yes, we're doing this in a sequential order. It's sort of like you could say, um, you know, when there's a football game and everyone piles on and then you have to like take the upper people off so you can get to help the person who's under there, whether it's the quarterback or whatever game it is, like, you know, whatever's piled on or an earthquake and you have to move so that that can get moving. That's sort of how this uh, sequence goes. And sometimes some of the worst damage needs to be addressed so that things are can, can be stable for you, so that they can be um, alleviated. And what else, okay? What else is involved with the Hara? Now, what is the Hara? The Hara is a structure which is frequently called a chakra. And I do talk about this in my books. It's not a chakra. It is probably a better description would be a cocoon or a nest or some kind of a, a network. And that is something that people are detaching from. Why? Because it's time. And yes, there's most definitely a timing to all of this. So it's very pertinent that we're in this time now where some of this can happen. However, you're going to know if it's happening because of how you feel. Not really what you see, but what you feel, what you feel your body experiencing. So this has to do with the connection and the old paradigm. What's a paradigm? A paradigm is a context of, it's think of it as a box in which to learn from. So in some ways, a university is a paradigm. Many uh, aspects of the zodiac are part of a paradigm because you're learning aspects. Nobody is actually one zodiac sign either. That's some of the stuff that the mind's going to throw away as you continue to feel how not separate you two actually are. The first thing that comes, though, is anyone who's ever been an intruder is going to be felt and your body will want it out. But how do you get it out? Because some people are in the habit of, you know, it tries to get out, you stick it back in or your twin sticks it back in. So this has to do first with the feminine ancestral. This includes um, matriarchal lineages cultures that have been matriarchal, cultures that have done goddess worship. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that, once again, it's dualistic. It's a focus on one energetic instead of a whole or an integrated whole. You're also at a point where integrating what's here for you, what actually is you, is actually triply important than it's ever been. So if you've never done any body work, if you have never tried, if all you go by is just, you know, watching a few things and saying, well, that gets me by, guess what's going to happen? You're going to find it. You have to engage it. And yes, I am the proper metaphysician to help you with that. 
I'm all about the body. In fact, that's all I've been teaching for several years. I have it in several of my uh, classes. I mean, I talk about it all the time. I can't help but when I talk to people, pick up on the things that is going on with them. When I touch people, I see their past lives and I see what it is. I don't even have to touch people though. So there is a smattering of past life stuff, cosmic level past life stuff, which not every person on earth can do, but I can. And this is highly significant because a lot of those are a part of the old paradigm. They just are. It, there's no way around it. You can't deny it and say no. And also the sense that, you know, are you making up some of this? No, you're not crazy. It is very real. It is uh, perhaps unable to be seen by everyone around you. And this is where it gets tough because it's hard to vocalize some of the things that you go through to the people who care about you. Come and talk to someone who knows what you're talking about, who knows the experience, who not only knows it, but can help shift it and can help it start to move on in a positive direction for each of you. Do you know that you've been bringing yourself in from the four corners of the universe? And it has actually taken linear time. Yes, it has. So what else is this, you know, that we're in? Well, whatever you didn't review during the most recent retrograde and moon energy, if you didn't do it, it's bound to come up at some point. But for now, the huge focus is going to be deep within parts of your body. And that is what gets strange for people because you cannot alleviate it with just your mind. You actually have to start to learn some of this. So in some ways, it's like someone handing you a brand new gift. It has a bow on it and you're leaving it there in the corner and you're kind of saying, mm, I don't know what to do with it. I mean, after all, where am I going to take it? I think I'll wait. And you're waiting for this portal and you're waiting for that sign and you're waiting for that asteroid to whiz past the earth and you're waiting for that moon phase and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting for somebody to drop off your twin flame right at your doorstep. And I'm saying to you, stop waiting. Okay. What you need is inside you. This has always been an inside job. And I, in particular, am a specialist in getting people to heart communicate, to light up the parts of themselves and start creating their own activations. Because to a degree, yes, there's people that help with activations. I help with that. I've done heart chakra workshops since 2007. And not only that, um, it's time that we're getting into some of the stuff that you just really wouldn't want in your physical living situation with your true love. What are those things? Okay. Well, let's talk about it because it's going to come up anyway, and it's going to make people not feel well. So let's talk about it. Okay. Sex misuse and abuse. Okay. What can this be? Okay. Misuse is sometimes being used by someone being taken advantage of, having someone have you off balance, you're waiting by the phone, you're thinking that they're going to call, or the empty promises, okay? That's just here at this physical level, okay? When you get beyond it, you have entire groups of people who have been used for sometimes what is called too much breeding, making too many people or, in all honesty, other angelics, that then need to be cared for and all that goes with it. Abuse. People have used this as a way to abuse other people. Sometimes they've abused themselves. They don't care about themselves and they will let anybody take a turn. And that is not what love is either. And yet so many people have separated sex and love. They've had to. They've had to do it just to survive. We're putting it back together, okay? Not only are we putting it back together, 
we are bringing the love to an entirely new sacred level. Okay. What about this one? Okay. A lot of people will have this happen and there's even degrees out there. You know, there's like a spectrum of like, you know, is it this, is it this, is it this, is it this, is it violent? Was it consensual? Was, you know, and the bottom line is if it feels like it, it is okay. And this is where it gets very, very into gray areas because there are, there's a lot going on where people are leaving the old paradigm where things have happened. Are they projecting? Are they convinced something? Okay. And sometimes people who've been victimized find a way to make another victim. That happens. Okay. The buck stops here. Time to stop these cycles. Because all of this stuff has greatly affected both the feminine and the masculine. But right now we're talking about just feminine. Whole other side of the coin about um, the masculine. So we're talking about the feminine. And by the way, the feminine is women. Women who feel that they carry the feminine essence or have up until now. Because you're going to be integrating both. And you have to integrate both. You have to have all four aspects of yourself, everything from the four corners. Do you know how to do that? You may feel like, well, I had to download, okay? Get busy with it. Find out how. Find out how because otherwise you will not be able to maintain. The first couple times, it'll happen spontaneous. After that, it's on you. And this is why people will say, you do you because only you can do you. Only you can make sure that you're getting up and running and maintaining and being who you came here to be. Being who you came here to be means being able to walk fearlessly and sensibly wherever you may go, wherever, wherever your life takes you, wherever you decide to navigate your life. And some people don't know. Some people have had their nerves numbed out so much they can't feel or sense. And in, in a way, it's not their fault. What if that is your twin flame? What if they keep falling into the same, you know, taking a dive again and again and again and again into the same thing? Okay. All right. What if? How do you stop the madness? How do you stop the menses madness? Because menstrual cycles, oh gosh, they are really affecting people of all ages. And I don't even mean just women. You have a menstrual flow and you're in a woman's body and you're a woman and you've had that for years. You're going to find that irregular things start to show up for you. Too much blood. That happens. It happened to me. Thyroid issues. Hip and leg cramps. Stomach aches. Digestive issues. Feeling like you'd like to divorce or that you're divorcing something because sometimes it's a feeling, sometimes you're being pushed out. There's things that come after this too. It can be bladder infections, bladder kidney, okay? You are addressing any bitter endings that you've ever had ever. Any of the things that you ever thought that your life wouldn't be like that and it is. And you're saying the buck stops here. But what, don't you want to get that peeled out? I mean, if you take someone and they are saying, oh, I just don't feel okay. Well, you look okay. No, oh, my breasts are tender and there's something wrong. I can feel things in my body. My stomach is upset. I had diarrhea. There's some pains in my legs and my knees. And I'm really worried something's wrong. Well, what if something is wrong, okay? Or what if you talk to someone who knows twin flame stuff? That's another thing I got to mention. People are going willy-nilly checking out all this stuff instead of finding out the twin flame specific things that are going on because there are two people. There are two people in the union. There's not you and then, you know, five other people, those five other people, four other people of them will leave. 
need to leave, need to be booted out somehow. How do you get other people's energies out? You start doing it with the guidance that I have, with the things that I'm able to help you with, because some of the stuff that happens, yeah, it is a little bit on the dark side. It's on the negative side. We all have, you know, shadows. We all have had to do things. We've all had to be in situations we don't want that we have no control over. But this is a day you get to alleviate it. Starting now and moving forward with it. The education that you give yourself is very much money well spent because you won't get everything that you are needing if you're sort of, you know, sifting through things. A lot of that has been valid, but for ancient cultures and ancient times. There is very, very new things, new information that I have that I've actually been putting out for years. And I don't mean just as a webinar. I mean, it's been, you know, for years and years. Why years? Okay. First of all, it's taken a little time to get to this point because there's something very grand we are doing here. And there's also something very delightful and cozy and intimate that you're doing. And getting these things out is imperative because you're not going to even let that throw you off. You're not going to have to say to your twin, oh, I have a headache. No, I'm sorry, don't touch me, I'm ultra sensitive. Don't even talk to me, don't even talk to me. And then sometimes your partner says to you, whoa, they're on the war path or something, or they're, yeah, I get what's going on. Okay, that isn't how it works for twin flames. You know how it works for true twin flames? You each feel it. So wherever your twin is, they're going to feel your cramps. How do you alleviate it? Come and find out. Because I don't wish this on someone, but I know the process of it. And it is a process and there are things to do. There's proper supplements to help you. And there are specific movements to open the channel so that you can do the proper transmutation. Are you throwing down an anchor? Better think twice about that because that is not actually going to help you at all. Are you being anchored down by someone, someone else's stuff, and you feel mired in it? You feel as though your life just shouldn't be this way. You shouldn't have to be tied to someone who is, you know, irresponsible and addict. Okay, if you take someone and if you actually ask, does he have executive function? What does that mean? Okay, a lot of people have been affected by the past, by their families, by a lot of, you know, the ancestral things that we've all had. Okay, but what if that means he doesn't know how to take proper action, he doesn't know how to take care of himself, he doesn't know how to um, not be late and procrastinate and do certain things. Is that supposed to now become her issue? No, she's got her own stuff going on. So he's got stuff going on, she's got stuff going on that's given her pain. That is why you have to learn the body so that you actually help each other through the body. You actually communicate through the heart, not the mind, not the temples of the body, not your third eye, not anymore. Because too many people have been uh, misguided unintentionally with this. You pick up stuff from the collective. I can hear things. If you don't believe me, throw yourself back a few days and tell me if you have like head buzzing and stuff like that. How do you get rid of that? I know how to help you transcend that. So it's time to get real about what you're really here for. You're really here for a brand new template, which gives you the unification and gives you the relationships that you actually want that are entirely new. 
and are not from the old paradigm. So removing your heart rep is a big piece of it. And that is painful. When things happen with the ego, it's painful. When things happen with the heart rep, it's painful. So what I would suggest, I have these two sessions and I have some other links below. I have a webinar class going on um, for the next two weekends. And I do have this session. This is to help you unblock. It helps with your creativity, helps you get your own proper guidance. Your causal body is your manifester. This is a subtle body that has shared connections to the higher self so that you can do things here. You know why the law of attraction doesn't work sometimes? The law of attraction sometimes tells you envision things or objects. For twin flames, it's very different. You're actually melding your lives together, which is why my channel and my site is called Twin Flames Merge. You need to merge and meld and melt and really blend up with each other. So this one is particularly good for helping you get unstuck. Do you have trouble breathing? Do you feel a heaviness? I know what that is. And if you're not careful, you'll go into a fatigue situation and it will perpetuate for months. And the doctors don't know what this is. I've spoken to enough people over the past year to get the feedback from them, including my own doctor and my own blood test, that things can be normal and yet you'll still feel it. And I know what it is and I know, even more importantly, I know how to shift it so that it's a lot more rapid and you don't linger in that energetic for months to come. That's important because getting you up and running, getting you unstuck, I firmly believe in. You can have a psyche body session. If you have any of these things going on, phobias, I've helped several not only have I personally overcome phobias, I've personally had probably about eight near-death experiences. Yeah, where I should have died. I must have the hardest bones. I don't know, might have like bones of iron because it's just been like really something. I've also had phobias, several terrible ones, and I've personally overcome them and I've helped other people to overcome them through the subtle bodies, not through talk therapy. Of course I talk to people. Of course I have to find out what's going on. But the minute people start talking, they open up their high heart connections. I know right where we're going to start to move it because I'm a firm believer in getting from point A to point B as quickly as possible, as painlessly as possible. Traumas, rape, abuse, abandonment, and serious high-level deep issues, things that have happened on other planets, things where you've been part of a collective and you've had no control over anything, okay? To give you a close example, probably the closest example, recent example, is probably World War II, okay? Where there's just been some really deep and high-level stuff, angers, anger issues, what if you're on the flip side of this? What if you are not sure and you start feeling, am I going a little bit crazy? Are there things my twin flame is doing? Are they doing drugs? Are they doing alcohol or a combination of things? Are they doing crazy behaviors and you still want to get shifted because you're sensing it? Yes, come and see me. So those are the things that you need to know is this is happening whether people like it or not. And it does need, it does require a little bit of putting some skin in the game, putting a little bit of yourself to make some effort to get better because gradually there will be um, very few people who actually do um, kind of figure it out with their head. A lot of this, it's even taken me sometimes up to several days to really feel exactly what was happening. Okay, when people talk about things like, well, there's a force preventing something from coming together, causal body. Okay, let's start to get that shifted. Don't go with the dark side. There's dark forces. You'll be lost in that. Okay, the boogeyman and the darkness and the, the things that have happened, 
have actually been closed from about two lion's gates ago, if I could say it like that. So starting in 2017, that's when um, people could actually start to breathe and start to feel a little bit normal, a little bit like there's an end, of, a light at the end of the tunnel. And that's not an oncoming train, okay? You're here to balance. You are here to be love and exude love. And so those of you have to make love. Making love is an energetic. Some people have only begun to feel some of this. Some people never have. Some people have never actually really had tenderness or intimacy expressed to them. And I can tell you that when these start to open, those experiences, which are your activations, begin to happen for you. So check the links below. Thanks so much for watching. And I look forward to helping you. And I've been very honored to get to know so many of you. Thank you so much. And I look forward to just being able to present more of the love and what this is about. Reach out to me with a question if you have it. And thank you. Have a good day. Bye.